Direct from Foxborough, Massachusetts, the gem of Norfolk County, and taped at the studios of Foxborough Cable Access, it's Foxborough Central. And here's your host, Bob Hickey. And welcome to another episode of Foxborough Central. I am Bob Hickey, your host, thanking you for taking the time to join with me and my guest as we talk about the people, events, and organizations that make Foxborough truly the gem of Norfolk County. Now, when I say Foxborough, of course, I mean the region. We are equidistant between Boston and Providence. We have two major interstates going through us. We have so many uh, wonderful, wonderful things. We have sports, we have business, we have finance, we have a booming economy, and we have cultural arts. We have so many theaters, uh, live performances, movies, and with the... Um, uh, tax incentives given to the Hollywood studios. We also have acting out here. And that is what brings me to my wonderful guest today. I have the distinct pleasure and honor of meeting Ava Godet. How are you doing, Ava? I'm doing great, Bob. It's great to have you here on our show. Thank, Thank you, you so much for having time. me. So you are big time. <laughs> sure, yeah, let's go with that. We're, well, <laughs> if you're on Ugly Betty in my book, that is big time. So first of all, thank you so much. And how on earth are we blessed to know you, have you here on our show? Um, well, uh, everybody's favorite connection. Everyone's favorite connection, Jury Love. Jury Love. Oh, we go way back. She's an incredible human being, as you know. Yes, she's been on our program. She volunteers here with Cable Access. She's my scheduler, and uh, <laughs> yes. she's brought you to me. So Absolutely, yeah. We were students together at Berklee College of Music, and um, I invited her to be a part of my band. I saw her performing, and she was like this little sparkler on stage, and I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> we need to work together. And We've been friends ever since. Well, that's really interesting because Yuri, <laughs> I know, was just in, on, on a program and she's an actress and she also sings and she plays and, mm -hmm. and so she's very talented. But going to Berkeley, uh, it's, it's so many interesting people and so many talented people, of yeah. course, go there. Was that your starting point for your career or talk about, first of all, for those of you at home, uh, I've had the opportunity to go to Ava Got It. Dot com. I hope you'll take the time to go to <laughs> www.avagadet.com because it's really an interesting website. She's done so much. She's uh, active here in New York and in Los Angeles. She's been on the stage. Uh, she is also an accomplished singer, and she has a new venture, which we're going to get to way down the road. Here, a lot <laughs> we I have so much to more to talk about. I want to talk. So let's talk about Berkeley first of all. How sure. did you end up at Berkeley, and then what did Berkeley do for you, and then where did you go from there? Yeah, that's actually an interesting story because when I left high school, I actually went to acting school first. High school in Providence? I was, yes. You're classical from Providence. high school in Providence. Okay. Yep. So you're local. Yeah, local. And um, so I had the dream of moving to New York. Like the moment I possibly could move to New York, I was going to move to New York. So I was in a BFA acting program and I just wasn't into the actual program that I was in um, it was costing a lot of money <laughs> <laughs> and I felt like it wasn't as intense as I wanted and so I was getting very distracted by living in New York and I immediately started going to the open auditions that the Broadway productions would have and, okay. and continue to have and I just became more and more interested in working on my voice and working on my musicality and um, I really wanted to be in a Broadway musical. That was a, a huge goal of mine. And it just so happened that my father is a professor at Berklee College of Music. Okay. And so I had that connection. I gave it a little shot with a summer program. So there's always music in the house. Always music in the house. Okay. My mom is a theater person. She was uh, an actor and was a theater teacher in a high school for many years. So it was all in the family. So this wasn't one of those situations where the parents sat you down and said, we want you to be a lawyer or a doctor or anything else. They were okay with you going into the field. They were okay with me going into the field for sure. They're extremely supportive. I mean, I think every parent wants their child to do what they love, but also do something that's going to support them. Yes. And you know, the entertainment industry is an incredibly difficult challenging industry to be in so it's very competitive i think um, my parents knew that firsthand so they sort of wished me luck and <laughs> hoped it would all go well um, but i was i i was very passionate about this i knew that this is what i wanted to do from the moment i was you know 
I first had memories. It was I wanted to be on stage or singing or acting or doing this. So Excellent. I shifted gears a little bit when I went to Berkeley to really focus on being a musician and working on my voice. And um, <clears throat> so um, when I finished school in Boston, I moved right back to New York. <laughs> okay. And um, so now we go to New York. Yeah. You, you, you're, you're feeling good. You're ready there. You're yeah. starting, and then you just. They handed the world to you on a platter, and you just went right in. And oh yeah, it was very easy. You were a star easy. on day one. <laughs> I mean, everyone has their own path. This is something that I've learned about this industry. You know, there are those people that are standing on a street corner and get discovered by mm. a producer, and there's their career. Um, I, you know, I worked very hard. I worked extremely hard on building up my voice, building up my stamina, working on my acting, working on everything, and. I, I really had a goal of being in a Broadway show, a very specific Broadway show. I auditioned for the show for seven years. So really? the moment I went to New York, I started auditioning for the show, open calls. So again, these Broadway shows will have open calls. Anyone can go if you can wait long enough. I'm very good at waiting. So I waited hours and hours, and I went to all these auditions. And in between, went to Berkeley, came back to New York, continued to audition. And finally, I booked the national tour of the show. And after the tour was over, I, I got it. allowed to say the name of the show? It was Rent. I know it was Rent. It was Rent. <laughs> Love Rent. It was, one, my, it was my favorite, still my favorite show. I really felt like it was my dream come true. And I, and I continue That's to fantastic. feel that way. Yeah. And now how long were you in Rent then? I was in the Broadway show for about two years, a little less than two years. That's so a long after time. the tour was over, yeah. It, it is. Congratulations. It's a very uh, rigorous schedule, eight shows a week. And um, truthfully, I didn't have much experience doing a schedule like that beforehand. So uh, it, was, it was challenging for me. That's, that, for those of you, probably everybody by now knows, but I manage a the theater, and we see the different mm. groups coming in, in two, three, four performances. And so much work goes into those right. two, three, four, eight performances a week performances for a week. 100 weeks. Oh, That's yeah. a lot of performing. It is, and, and really what happens is your entire you life... you love it, of course, it's Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, it was the but greatest still, time of my work. life. It was so much work. It was so challenging. The, the things that you needed to focus on, you know, number one, you have to stay healthy. Anytime I would get sick, I had to call out of the show for like a week or mm. two, depending on when my voice would come back. So everything revolved around those two hours, making sure my voice was healthy, making sure my body was healthy, making sure I had the stamina to do it. So um, it was, I, I learned so much by being a part of that production. You mentioned time and again, the voice and training the voice and building up the stamina. Yeah. That's a real thing because the voice oh, is yeah. a muscle. And yeah. In fact, another funny story. Um, the casting directors of the show knew me very well. As I said, I auditioned nonstop. So I, I don't know where I found the courage, but I called her. The, the casting director, uh -huh. which is a no-no in acting. Really? You, you don't do that. If you have representation, an agent, or a manager, you always go through them. Don't do that. <laughs> exactly. Don't do as I do. <laughs> um, but I asked her, why am I getting called back for the show, but I never booked the job? And she said, we just don't think that your voice can handle doing this really? over again. So I would go in to the audition. They would ask me to sing the song. And then when the song was over, they would say, OK, sing it again. And it was a very challenging song, and it was like, you know, my voice could not handle it at that point. So Isn't that's that when I went to Berkeley. I was in um, a wedding band, and I was doing club gigs, and I was getting used to singing for Great three to four ground. hours a I night. Was, yeah. And uh, finally, when I got back, I had, you know, built up. And, and still, even, even with that kind of... Um, training or, or stamina building, it was still really hard. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, the casting director really helped okay. to hone in on what I needed to focus interesting, on. Interesting, interesting. And of course, speaking with Ava Gaudet, I want to toss this out to you. Her website is www.avagaudet.com. Check it out. She's got a phenomenal uh, site because you can see <laughs> the pictures and, and the singing and the acting and the, the this and the that and the everything. But we haven't gotten to your new venture yet, which we're going to get to right, in a little right. bit. So I do want to talk about sure. that. Time is flying so quickly. I know. We have so, so much to talk about. You have um, a Facebook page. Yes. We can be your friend. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And if we're your friend on your Facebook page, what are we going to see? Are we going to see Save the Whales? What is it that <laughs> Ava Goddett likes to do? Um, 
Well, yeah, there is. As I'm sitting here talking about you in the third person. What do you right. like to do? So. Well, there's, uh, there's two pages. So I have my kind of personal one. That's the page where I post all of the save the dogs, mm -hmm. save, you know. Uh, but I do have my professional page where I, you know, talk about the projects that I'm in, um, doing a lot of gigs locally. So I talk about that, uh, my, my YouTube channel, as we'll talk about soon. Um, so yeah, and then my Instagram is sort of a mix of my personal life and my professional life. So you get a little of everything on there. So people can be your friend, and uh, there we go. So we've got Instagram, we've got Facebook. Yeah. You're in New York, yeah. you're in rent for almost two years, yes. and then what happened? So the casting directors who cast We're me We're not going to be able to get you to sing some rent. I guess. Oh my goodness, I don't know. I don't know if we have the rights for that. I don't know. Um, we'll let that go to the next program. <laughs> So the casting directors who um, got to know me and cast me in Rent, also, they cast many, many, many things, uh, Bernard Telsey, and they called me in for a new TV show that they were casting. Uh, it was a pilot for ABC. I had okay. never auditioned for a television show in my life, and I ended up booking the role. And it was for, thank you. I had no idea. I, I, I literally was just going on the material, and I came up with a little character, and flying by the seat of my pants. I booked the role, I shoot the pilot, which was being shot in New York. Then the show got picked up and the role was recurring. So I wanted, of course, I wanted to do more episodes, but they moved the entire production to Los Angeles. Of so course. then I had the, the decision to make, mm. did I want to go out there? This was what they call a local hire. That means that if I wanted to do it, I would have to fly myself there, pay for my accommodations, considered a local. And I said, of course, I'm going to do that. So my husband and I made a little trip to Los Angeles to do this. <laughs> and we were like, why don't we live here? This place is amazing. Is it? Oh, it was amazing. And I love New York and I love LA. Sorry, I just touched the mic. Um, <laughs> I talk with my hands a lot. I'm sorry. Um, I love New York. I love LA. Those two places are very, very different. So they're definitely not for everyone. The people who love New York tend to hate LA, really? but I wasn't okay. one of those people. <laughs> but you're from Providence. You're all, all loving it. It's all sure. Good. I wanted to be around palm trees. I think that was just the, the thing. Who doesn't? Exactly. There is something about a continuous sunshine that just puts you in a good mood. Mm. So, um, you know, long story short, we ended up moving to Los Angeles. Okay. Um, my husband and I both are in the entertainment industry, and so we both thought it would be a good move for okay. us, and it was. And, and it was? We loved it. Yeah, it was amazing. So you're out there, and the name of the program was? Ugly Betty. Ugly Betty. Yeah. And you played the sassy girl. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of always play that kind of character. That tends to be the thing that I get cast to do. But it's really interesting, because it's clearly <laughs> acting. You're so wonderful and engaging, and, and on that, you're very... I was sort of the bad guy. There. Yeah, yeah. yeah. America Ferrara, I used to feel so bad for it. Just I know. Talking I, with you. Was, like, oh. yeah. <laughs> and now here we are, right here on our stage. I know, here this we are. This is uh, just to show you, life is a very strange and twisting path. So, True. you were on that show for how many years? Um, a couple of years. You know, I, I, I did a few episodes over two seasons. Mm -hmm. And then I just worked in other, you know, other TV and film roles. You've been on several guest appearances yeah. and, and other shows. Yeah. So very interesting type of work. Sure. But yeah. I can imagine that for every guest appearance you had, do you go on many more interviews uh, or yeah. auditions? Uh, the, or? Your, my whole life was auditioning. Yeah. Yeah. You, my full-time job It's not job as easy was, as all that. No, it wasn't. And, you know, I was, um, I was very fortunate to have so many opportunities. In L.A. is a very difficult place, you know, just... Again, the amount of competition. Well, is I was going to say, there's a lot of people to go there. <laughs> a lot of people with the same dream. Exactly, exactly. So I was so fortunate to be able to have done the work that I was doing, um, but it is a grind. It's a constant grind. And so, um, after years of living out there, my husband and I decided that it was time for us to start a family, which is very important to us. But we wanted to focus on career stuff first. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we had our daughter. We lived out there. Thank you. We lived out there for another year, and then we just started to feel like it wasn't the right place for us anymore. 
really. You yeah. need a uh, different lifestyle, not exactly, uh, yeah. no winters. You, want, no you winter. want your daughter to have snow. She does love the snow. Does she? The first thing she did was like flop herself in the snow and <laughs> roll around. So yes, I'm glad that she's around snow. But my, my family was always so important to me. And uh, my husband as well with his family. So I think... He's local also? Yeah, he's also from Rhode Island. Okay. So it seemed, you know, silly for us to not give our daughter the opportunity to grow up with her family. Sure. She's obsessed with her family. So it, it I, especially on that level, was a good move. That's... that's I, for, for those of us who have kids, we hope they all come <laughs> to that realization. So good yes, for you. Yes. And, well, welcome back to Providence. Thank so, you so much. Having gone and done the big lights in New York yeah. and then gone to the uh, to the big life out in Los Angeles, how is it coming back to Providence? Is it, hey, <laughs> wow, the sidewalks have rolled up. But Providence well, is a beautiful city. It is a beautiful city. And there's so much to do there. There's if you like restaurants, oh my if gosh. you like nightlife, uh, there's things going on. So much. But also the theater down there, the PPAP, the Trinity, all sorts of wonderful opportunities down there. Is this what you're doing? Or are you retired? Or what's, <laughs> what's going on with Ava? Yeah, um, it's funny. Am I retired? I use you because in the third term again. I'm I so know that. Sorry. Hey, it's all right. Um, no, I mean, again, having a baby um, shifted some of my priorities for sure. And I had to be okay with that. I was always one of those people that was so career oriented that I was like, that's never going to be me. Mm -hmm. But things change. And so I am a lot more focused on my family. And, um, and that's completely cool with me because I also have lots of opportunities to tap into, which I have been doing a little bit more lately. Um, you seem like a very energetic person. <laughs> so does that mean you're exploring your music side more or? Yeah. I'm singing a lot. Yep. I'm singing a lot. I'm singing more now than I did probably in my entire time in LA. I did some singing in LA, don't get me wrong, but uh, I'm gigging like every night of the week right now, which is really? amazing. Yes, it's, it's fantastic. Me and my dad do a little duo thing. Get so out of town. After all this time of being away, I have an opportunity to play music with my dad. Um, yeah, so it's, it's been great. And, and I still have acting opportunities, which is Part of my focus now is sharing my experiences with other mm -hmm. actors and performers. We're getting so we're getting close. So we're close. Get, this is a we're, good segue, we're right? We're almost tasting it. I know. I can, I'm, I'm, we're almost there, but I, I do also want to talk. So with the singing, mm. are you in a band? It's you and your dad. What's... Yeah, yeah. I'm doing, um, I, I work for a few different kind of band configurations, mm -hmm. if you will. Uh, one of them is a company that does very high-end weddings and events. Okay. And so I'm traveling out of town pretty much every weekend. Okay. Um, it's amazing work. The so musicians I'm working with, no, opposite. <laughs> I'm so busy. I'm way, I'm way too busy. It's a good problem to it's have. It's a good problem. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a good problem to have. But it also sounds like you're able to make room and prioritize your family, so that's yeah. phenomenal also. Talking with Ava Gaudet, she has a website, www.avagaudet.com. You can be her friend on Facebook. <laughs> so now, as we've spoken to my new friend, she's a Providence girl. She then became a New Yorker, became a student up at Berkeley, learned it all, went back down, became a star on Broadway. Uh, that wasn't enough for us, so she became a star <laughs> in Los Angeles. That wasn't enough for us. Now she's cutting her teeth on the music scene here in Providence. And you are also paying it forward a bit, I understand. A little bit, You yeah. have a YouTube channel and you're doing That's some right. teaching. That's right, yeah. I, I felt like coming back, there were a couple of things that um, were really prominent in my mind. One of them is the stigma that's attached to moving back home if you're an actor or performer. Um, there is really this... Is there really a stigma? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's something that no one ever wants to do. You know, it's like this feeling of that must mean I'm a failure. Like there's no chance of ever changing your mind mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. ever wanting something different or ever continuing your acting or music or performing career in a different market. I would have to think that, and, and not to throw, but I, I would have to imagine that since it is such a competitive landscape and it is everybody out for themselves and you're, and you're based on who you know, your networking has got to be so key. Right. Once you leave that network, I can see how the how the ties are broken and jumping back in. 
I can get it. Yeah, I, I get it. yeah. It is. It's it's a um, it's a tricky thing. Yeah. You know. Uh, you're right. Ten years in L.A., I built up relationships with producers, casting directors, um, other actors, uh, and I was very afraid that those ties would be permanently mm -hmm. undone. But there is a, a kind of shift in our culture right now um, with acting especially. Um, there are multiple markets throughout the country now. Atlanta is a big one. Um, really? There's stuff happening in Boston. Well, I know that Toronto um, and Vancouver are Yeah, are exactly. Huge. So there are some circumstances where even if you have representation in New York or, or LA, you're what they call self-taping, which is you're auditioning on your own, recording it, and sending it in to work as a local somewhere else. I so see. that's something you can do from anywhere. So that's how the industry is sort of morphed in the technology age where... Exactly, exactly. And it's it's difficult, just like any other way of, of working in the industry, but it is possible. And well, Survivor does it. They get their contestants <laughs> every year, so why not? That's right. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I have I have a couple of agents, and they so send me auditions. you still have your finger in the game. I have my fingers in the game, for sure. The thumbs in sure. the pie. Absolutely, yeah. You're not done yet. No, no, not at all. In fact, there is more opportunity for me that I'm not even tapping into yet, because part of why I moved here was to spend more time with my family. So. And there's I, only one of you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think there's, there's so many more things that I can do. Um, in the acting and performing world and in this market that okay. I'm really excited about. And so now that we are back mm -hmm. and you are paying it forward, sharing a little bit, what is this new venture? I, I, you touched upon it at the beginning. Right. I'd really like to hear about it. What is yeah, it? Yeah, so I have been teaching, conducting workshops at various places. Um, does your dad still teach? He does, yeah. He's been a teacher at Berkeley College of Music for, oh my goodness, over 25 years. I, I don't even know how long, but yes, he's still teaching. So the teaching. apple didn't fall far from the tree, and No, now here you exactly. Are. My mother was a, a, a theater teacher, high school theater teacher, okay. and so there is this element, you know, in my family of um, sharing your experience, and um, I learned a lot. I made a lot of mistakes, which I think is the one thing I like sharing because... Um, experience is just mistakes that didn't kill us, so exactly, here we are. Exactly, exactly. So um, one of the things I have done is I started a YouTube channel, and... and just started a YouTube channel, so don't go expecting big numbers. Well, actually, we're going to make those numbers big. Okay, perfect. Here at Fox News Central, <laughs> we have a homework assignment. We all need to go into YouTube and check out Ava Gaudet's new YouTube channel. It's uh, hashtag tips of the trade with an exclamation point. You can find it. I found it very easily. I did it right before we came on, and it is so easy to find. And it looks really interesting. You have some videos on here. Yeah. And what are they? So the point of the, the channel is really tips and advice for all things, you know, th ranging uh, topics throughout the entertainment industry. That's something that I have done is I have found a way to work <laughs> as an entertainer in music, in acting, um, both stage and screen. I do voiceover. Um, so I wanted to give advice on all of these subjects. Okay. So uh, the first few videos, are really focused on acting topics, but I have some topics coming up for singers, um, a lot of other things sort of in the can for dancers and yeah. So so acting, is there a methodology to it? Is there a, uh, I, I suppose everybody has their own path, but are there some you know milestones that you can point to and say most people hit these points along their career? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, I mean, Again, everyone has their own path and, right. and their own goals. So not every goal That's is true, the same. Sure. Um, my goal when I first moved to New York was to be in a Broadway show. So everything that I did was focused on that particular goal. When I moved to Los Angeles and my goal was to work in television, everything I did at that point was now focused on that goal. So there are things that I learned, but I was also thrust into this without a lot of you know, preparation. Well, I think that's, so, that's the point is that, you know, how does one become, I can't just look it up, so, oh, to become an actor, you know, yeah. to become a doctor, you go to school, then you go to post-grad, and you go to medical, and you do your internships, and there's pretty much a couple of steps you go through to get to whatever you want to do. Right. Acting seems very <laughs> helter-skelter. In some ways, From a yeah. layman, it seems very... Yeah, in some ways. I mean, I think 
you can definitely put emphasis on a great education. I think people that come from really great acting schools do get a level of respect. So places respect. like Berkeley and Juilliard, sure, they have yeah. a definite place. Right, right. Um, you, you definitely get not only respect from the people that you are hoping to work with, but a lot of experience doing the kind of acting homework that you need to do before an audition or before a production. Um, all of those elements, there's so many different elements that go into it. The more educated you are, the more likely to be successful. Okay. Or you could be like me, and you could never do it before in your life and suddenly find yourself on a TV set, you know, a, a set of a TV production and not know what the heck you're doing. But <laughs> by, by being thrown in the fire like that, you probably brought a fresh... Uh, face a fresh attitude, a fresh outlet that they were looking for. So you never know you never who's know. looking for what. You never know. It's kind of like finding the husband. You just never know what you're <laughs> going to find. That's right. Uh, or, or whatever other cause you're doing. Now, you have a couple right. causes that you're also uh, passionate about. You want to touch on any of those real fast? Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, um, when I was in Los Angeles, I co-founded um, an animal rescue, and we were rescuing dogs and cats and placing them in homes and uh, you know, setting up adoptions. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, does it still exist? It does. It does. Unfortunately, now that I'm on the other coast, I, I can't participate as Aww. much as I did. However, you know, uh, I'm still involved when I can. It's still a, a passion of mine. And um, it was something that was extremely rewarding to be a part of. So if you're on that other Facebook page of mine, you may see a lot of pictures of dogs <laughs> and cats. Just one. Well, excellent. <laughs> so we can be your friend on Facebook. We sure. can follow you on www.avagadet.com. What's yes. your? Is this your big project right now? The YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. Hashtag I'm, tips of the <laughs> tips trade, of the trade. Exclamation point. Yes, I'm also doing some other workshops and classes. I, I recently did one at Regis College, and um, before that, I did a class at. Um, Trinity Brown Conservatory mm -hmm. at Brown University. Um, but on August 7th, I'm going to be doing a workshop with Boston Casting. Okay. And it's an on-camera workshop, so there will be an acting portion of the workshop. But really what I'm going to be focusing on is the protocol and the expectations of being on a professional set. So when you get on a film set or a television show, um, what to expect. There's a slew of terminology, there's a whole protocol, sure. and it's definitely good to know these things before. For new actors coming For new in. actors, because you want to be able to focus on your performance. You don't want to be distracted by, okay, what, who's, who should I be listening to? Who sh where should I look? <laughs> where should I go? But also, it's, it has to be beneficial to the directors because they know that you at least have a cursory understanding of what it is they're asking you to do when they right. ask you to do something. And then the other actors, it's got to be so much better if everybody's on the same page yeah. and at least knows the same terminology and exactly. the expectations in a professional work set is that we act professionally. Yeah, yeah, and they range So what a great too. service. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it, actually. I, I think it's going to be really fun, and I'll, I'm definitely passionate about, about teaching it. So. If I was an actor, then that would be something I would definitely want to <laughs> sign up for so I could learn cool. the ropes from the bottom. Boston so Casting. you can go to Boston Casting, yeah. and you can check them out. You know, Google them up, and Boston Casting, that's on August 7th. Yes. Fantastic. So you're teaching. You're paying it forward with the tips of the trade, hashtag tips of the trade. <laughs> exclamation point YouTube channel, which we're all going to subscribe to. We're all going to be Yay. part of the Ava fan club here. <laughs> and you're also singing. Yes. And you're also raising a daughter. Yes, that's right. All, wow. of, all of that. Wow. <laughs> Ava, it is tremendous meeting you. Do you have anything, anything at all that you'd like to share with the folks here in Foxborough? Just thank you so much for having me. It is really wonderful to be back in New England. And uh, I am loving every second of it. Well, we're loving having you. We love meeting <laughs> you. And thank you so much for being thank on the Thank you program. so much for having me. Uh, Ava Gaudet, accomplished star of Broadway, Hollywood, and now a Providence-based singer and acting, I want to say coach, that's the wrong word, maybe instructor, uh, sure. the Martha Stewart of acting. <laughs> I love it. Let's go with that. Yeah, Ava like Gaudet, she's fantastic. You're fantastic for being here. I'm fantastic because I can see on the clock we're out of time. Take care, Foxborough.